morning, everybody. How are you all today? It's kind of chilly out, so I made myself a cappuccino on the dream back there in the corner. Just saying. And what did I use for coffee? The Heart Stereo Blend. Looking forward to this. So what are you drinking? Whatever it is, go grab a cup and come back and join me. Mmm. You know, the foam on the Panarello on, <coughs> excuse me, on that machine really makes a nice foam. That's really good. I was kind of anxious to try the Stereo Blend. It's really very good. Yeah, it's real good. I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Last week we did the uh, Single Origin, and this week we got the blend going on. So we have three new Single Origins from Bluebeard on our uh, coffee wall on our page. We can call it the coffee wall even though it's not in our store. We're always adding new blends to our coffee uh, selection on our webpage, so really take a look at those and, you know, let us know what you think. Comments on those coffees. We'd love to hear all about what you f are picking up with, on with the little notes. Speaking of comments, let's see what the comments were from the videos of last week. Hmm. Cheers. That's very good. So from last week from the Escaso Dream Up Crew Review, why do we do the milk first on a machine like that? Well, a thermoblock or a single boiler machine, you're going to have the temperature up much higher to produce your steam. And if you make your shot first, you're at a lower temperature, the shot is sitting there. In about 15 seconds, your shot has diminished to something that isn't what it was at the first inception. So it doesn't sit well waiting. And you have to wait now for the machine to get up to that higher temperature for steaming. And you're, it's like, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. so it's better to do your milk first. The milk will sit there and wait very patiently. It's a patient waiter. And it's also faster to cool down the hotter temperature down to the brewing temperature by just running, hot, uh, running water through. So faster, better, the milk will sit. You just make sure you keep the foam incorporated into the milk. And as soon as that shot is done, you pour it in and they mix well together. There's something about the proteins in the milk mixing with the shot. You just don't want to wait that long. So it's a win-win situation for everything. And um, S from Good Morning Gail episode uh, talks about the uh, exclusive black inserts in the Apartamento. S likes the black inserts. So do I. Check it out on our webpage. You can have the choice of factory... Um, White, copper, or an exclusive with SCG, black. Minimal price for us to just flip those in there and get that done for you. And if you like the black, I do too. It's really quite nice. I'm thinking about a bubblegum pink, exclusive to me in my office. Let me know what you think about that. And from the top three coffee makers, uh, Bombay says, I was considering returning my Bonavita because it does not hold the temperature in a st stainless steel craft for over 30 minutes. So I, I would say it should last longer than that. We did a video, check it out, and we compared all the stainless steel crafts to see which one kept hottest longest. They were all very comparable. So there is a video out there. Two keys. Preheat your carafe ahead of brewing down into it. Get some really hot water in there. Let it sit for a couple of minutes. Pour it out, then brew. And make sure your lid is on tight afterwards. Just little little tips that might help you. Um, it's a great brewer. So, you know, price point falls right in there. Great brewer. I would say work with it. So, uh, let's see what's coming up this week. Stay tuned. What do we got coming up this week? Well, I'm about to tell you all about it. Crew review of the Pico Baristo. You know, we did a sneak peek a little while ago, and this is the latest uh, machine from Seiko. So check that one out. That's kind of a nice machine. Uh, we also uh, I did a coffee collaboration of the easiest mocha ever. Chocolate lovers, don't miss this one. It's going to be great. It was delicious. Hmm. You know, anything with chocolate. And then um, I also did a comparison of two very drastically different machines, but we had people asking about it. The Breville Dual Boiler versus the La Marzocco Linea Mini. Now, I know, they, you know, just check it out. Give it a chance. Don't say, what were they thinking? It's there. I mean, it just tells you what the differences are. 
So let's roll a sneak peek and you'll see what's coming up. Comes with the uh, a hose, goes in the milk container that you already have. And also, care of Seattle Coffee Gear, you can actually put this on. You can buy this, purchase this, and take this off, put this on if you want to do your Panarello, which gives you a little bit different kind of foam than this is going to give you. So that's an option. That's a great option, actually. I can see the chocolate on the side of the, <laughs> the glass. Whoop. Yeah, a little foam. I almost dumped it. Wow, that looks delicious. Uh, made by made with stainless steel, and also look how it sits. It's angled so that it's flat for tamping. Also, double spout. These are breakaway. If you were to push down hard on this, it breaks away so it doesn't hurt anything. Thanks a lot for watching again this week and joining me for a cup of coffee with whatever you're enjoying on this little chilly day. You'd have to be somewhere way down south right now not to be escaping some of the cold weather. So, just saying. I know they say I say that a lot. Just saying. Now that they're mentioning it, I'm kind of noting I do. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. So, see you all next week. Thanks a lot for joining me. Check out the Heart Stereo Blend. Kind of liking it. Thanks. See you next week.